just 7%. It's one of the most efficient production economies in the world. It's a hardware economy. It's not a software economy. It has no soft earnings. Not only that, when the Japanese companies offered stock options to their staff and workers, only 17% of the workers and staff chose to accept stock options. Others said, we don't want stock options. Put it in our retirement benefit and put it in bank. You see the difference in economics? In India, just 2% of our state savings get into stock markets. Just 2%. The 35% savings which our uh, speaker, Mr. Ravi, mentioned, or Mr. Uh, uh, Murlidhar mentioned, national savings, 35% of the GDP or whatever. 2% of that 35%, not even 35%, because 28% is the family savings out of the 35% of the total savings. Only 2% of that 28%, that is, 0.56% of the total family savings alone gets into the stock market. The stock role of the stock market in India is very small as compared to the role of stock market in America. In fact, if you come to the quantitative terms, if you reduce the entire Sensex 30 companies which are supposed to be the most powerful companies of India, if you take their GDP value, it is just 1%. The entire census companies represent about 1% of India's GDP. The entire BSC 500, which exhausts 90% of the listed companies in India, they represent 4% of India's GDP. So you can understand, the entire stock market represents only 4% of India's GDP. Actually, if you put together the entire listed and unlisted companies of India, that represents only 14% of India's GDP. Where is the comparison? So if there is a crisis in the stock market in America, it's a national crisis, national economic crisis. And stock market in America is integrated with the banking system. You know, in America, the banking system is not what we call as the banking system. Our banking system, if someone knows, recollects what the negotiable instruments act says, accepting for the purpose of lending or investment deposit of money from the public, that is not the banking system there. Here you directly deal with the people. Millions and millions of people visit bank branches, deposit money. There is a direct rapport between the people. The investment banks do not have retail banking at all. They take money from the banking system, they take money from high net worth individuals, they borrow money in the international market, they float bonds and they invest it in stock market, bond market. In fact, in India, 10 years back, the debate was the Indian banking system is an outdated banking system, see the American banking system, we should move over to investment banking. And what is the use of keeping 40 banks, 50 banks? We must have only two large banks. This kind of hundred banks operating in India, it doesn't show the might of India. You must have just two banks, three banks. You know what is happening today? City Bank is too big to fail. Understand one thing. If you create a big stock market, if you create a big investment bank, Lehman Brothers and Goldman Sachs, if you create a huge commercial bank, your nation becomes that. Your national strength is economic strength, political strength, the national image, the goodwill, the power which the nation commands is all deposited in 4, 5, 10, 15, 20 organizations, that's all. This is not economics, this is oligarchy. So in America, the banking shifted from ordinary commercial banking to investment banking. But you will know, the last two years, the last two months, Goldman Sachs said, we are no more investment bank, we want to be commercial banks. You know why? No money. 
so they have to go back to the people have deposit collection week you know just as our banks do this deposit collection week then people will be waiting with uh, purna kumbham for people who will come and deposit money but where is the people to deposit money there is no family family is insolvent the family is in debts the crisis in america is the people do not have money the people have debts government has debts banks have debts only some corporates have money i'll give you the pathetic figures in 1960 out of the total savings of americans you may ask me why i am talking about america i have no particular dislike for america in fact it is one of the greatest strategic allies of india we need to work with america but unless i explain america america unfortunately it wanted to be an example to the world and it has become an example of how not to do things and so we have to explain about america <laughs> a lesson in irresponsible living and how in contrast we are a very different society and before i come to that i have to picture pictureize america before you present america before you in the year 1960 america had about 70 60 65